Hello, welcome back. Right, MSX video number four today. Um, this is Shark Hunter, and this was, well, this is a game that was suggested by a subscriber in the comment section of my uh, previous video for Qbert. This is Shark Hunter from Electric Software in 1984. I don't know anything about this game. Um, it, I don't know whether or not it's an arcade conversion or a standalone um production by themselves whether or not it came out for any other systems it's certainly not something i recognize uh, but it is good fun and i'm really enjoying uh these sort of like few games that i've looked at for the msx um trying to sort of like go away from the the bog standard you know like home conversions where every game is like a, a copy of uh, the spectrum version etc and trying to find some stuff that really sort of shows off the msx um i bought the msx to use it to play it uh, i didn't intend for it to be sat on the shelf but um as i said um that's exactly what it's done i've kind of neglected it a bit of uh, recent times which is why i'm slightly overdoing it at the moment i suppose but um you know you don't have to watch them if you don't want to um only takes about three minutes to load i don't usually um highlight loading processes etc but i did quite enjoy um the little sort of jingle that comes up there and it's a nice loading screen as you can see um so msx yeah it's a standard rather than a sort of standalone machine manufactured by um, one company the sort of specs were um decided upon and then licensed out to various manufacturers so that <clears throat> there are various different iterations of msx machine which I believe will um, everything uh, is um, interchangeable between every single one of them. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Like I say, I'm not an expert on the MSX. The particular machine I have is the Toshiba HX10 64K model, um, which seems to have been a popular uh, model it seems to be sort of like fairly common um i don't know i don't know anything about msx sales figures um i know one or two people that own them um they've popped up in the comments section before uh it's a really really good system uh it should have done better than it um, did i'm not sure where it's sort of main sphere of influences uh, were but as you can see we've uh, we've loaded already now, I'm going to play this with joysticks, so this is going to be fun. But uh, this is a, a decent little game, and if you've never seen it, then check it out, because I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you like your arcade-style games. Now, I've selected my joystick, and here we go. i just got to zoom out a bit there so you can see the screen. So I'm this Eskimo chap down the bottom here, and these are my fishing grounds, and all my fish are protected in their pens from... Um, all the nasty sharks that are trying to get in and ruin all the uh, well and catch all the fish and in order to do so they will break through um, the netting between the pens etc which you can repair um, just by swimming up alongside uh, it and pressing your fire button when it's pink it means it's nearly damaged nearly um, all the way through and white makes uh, means uh, that it's uh, oh white means that it's um, at full strength if you know what I mean now there we go I can repair some of it again I'm gonna get eaten now I actually quite like that little sort of um, death animation that you get um, <laughs> it's really quite good you can also see there are icebergs floating in from the left to the right which will also damage um, your uh, your pens and allow eventually allow the sharks uh, free reign through them. Um, you only seem to get the sort of one life. A really nice tune sort of going through it, and I like the sort of um, animation of the characters, etc. Um, your character seems to have an endless supply of spears. He seems to be the the sort of Lego lass of the Eskimo world. Don't know where he keeps them all, but as you can see, there I am. I'm Ah, come on. I'm stuck. Come on, get out of it. Right, so let's go to this one. Try and fix that. And you can see to the right there, we've got the sharks all trying to get through to the, the sort of main area of my pens, etc. 
and I can hop between the islands and and oh it's gonna get me no it's not and you can fire in sort of eight directions and as you see we have also got the um, icebergs from the sort of left hand side which I've got to keep an eye on as well so you've got to make sure everything's sort of um, in a good state of repair if you like whoa so I've fixed that one now how do you get away from it sometimes that's I notice you can kind of get stuck sometimes on the uh, so there we've got one he uh, sort of breached there let's try and fix it before I get eaten it's not gonna go well no have to start again now at the bottom you can see uh, spring summer and autumn that denotes um, that sort of runs through and I from left to right and I the longer the game goes on and I'm presuming um, as you get towards the autumn when it gets cold starts to get colder you get more and more icebergs um, to contend with but this is really good fun I, I've um, I've enjoyed this like I say it's got a lot of charm to it and although the graphics don't look that detailed they actually are I think So we'll just go and fix a few of these. Now you can chuck the arrow, your harpoons in sort of eight directions. I so I wouldn't be surprised if this was um, based on an arcade game, but it's not one I'm um, familiar with at all. Now the sharks kind of remind me. I can't say for definite because it's a long time since I've played this particular game I'm going to mention. If you're a, a specy owner, as a lot of you will be, then um, you may remember a game from Quicksilver by John Hollis um, called Aquaplane, which is kind of like a water skiing simulator which has um, sharks uh, as one of the main sort of obstacles. And they kind of remind me of that. Not a bad thing because they're good... Um, sprites and the, the sort of shark's death animation is is quite good the tune is really jolly now you can see I've lost um, I've lost a paddock already there paddock pen I don't know what you'd call them pen I suppose and I've got to be um, careful here so I want to sort of try and get and repair these ones Oh, no, I don't want to do it for some reason. Right, there we go. You can see down the bottom there, that um, iceberg is royally knackering up my um, security features. Come on. Ah. Right, there we go. Oh, there's a sharky coming. Oh. Fortunately, they seem a little bit more interested in fish than they're doing me at the moment. But yeah, and it's quite simple to sort of pick up and play. Um, he says, and I was probably playing it completely wrong, but, um, you know, I've not checked this out on YouTube or anything, um, which is sort of unusual for, for me. I, I like to try and sort of figure things out for myself, and I like this kind of simple gameplay. Now you see I'm in danger of getting overrun here. Really need to try and get to make some repairs quickly. <laughs> We're going into the summer season. Voila, have that sunshine.
Oh, come on, I'm stuck. It's good fun. I suggest you uh, you uh, give it a try. Now I don't know what all those flashing question marks at the top are. The custer of the um, Eskimo world here. So let's try and And although that tune is repetitive, it's not one of those tunes that gets on your tits too much, if you know what I mean. Well, you might you might be thinking different. So let's try and repair these. Now, like I say, pink means that it's still sort of damaged. White is uh, full strength. But I'm now approaching autumn. So you only get the one life, it seems. How was that for a shot? Oh, I didn't actually get anything. <laughs> really nice little game like I say probably playing it all wrong let's see if I can got enough time before I get overrun and eaten now you see the music appears to be getting a bit more urgent I don't know why that is bloody hell look at all these sharks Going for a paddle there, mate. I suppose this is like shooting sharks in a barrel. I wonder what happens once I get to the end of autumn. Oh. No, I want you to fix it. Get back, get back in the water, you silly sod. Yeah, not much I can say really. It's a good fun, uh, good fun little game, and I think I've said that about eighteen times already. I'll just see what happens when we get to um, the end of autumn, and whether or not it wraps around and just starts again, <clears throat> or you go on to a different level, etc. I don't know. Oh, no need. Jumped into a shark's mouth. Look at that. <laughs> I've got a jaw sleeping bag. Um, 
there we go. That was Shark Hunter for the MSX. I really, really enjoyed that, as you could probably tell. Um, if you're not familiar with it, check it out yourselves. If you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, as ever, please, 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 take the time to join in the conversation. That's what it's all about. Thank you ever so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.